Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac20 Questions and also for the No Stylus website. And today what we're going to do is have another look at iBooks Author and see what else we can do with it. Well these widgets are the uh, thing that is most interesting perhaps. So let's add an interactive image first of all. So what you get here is a place where you can drag and drop stuff in there and then you can do some little inter bits of interactivity with it. So let's uh, drag and drop this uh, picture in there first of all. So let's start by putting back car and uh, you can have a bit of text in there if you want to. You can decide how much you want it to zoom in. So in this case here let's say we'll have it zoom in that much. So that's set the view by clicking that button there. So there's our default view and perhaps with the default view we could have it so that it's a bit further out and shows a bit better. And you can say this point here tells you where you want it to zoom in to. Let's go back to our default view again. And let's move this over here a bit. There are our dynamic duo. And obviously with that we can put that somewhere else so it's not obscuring the picture quite so much. You can change the size of that as well of course if you want to. OK, select that and go to the text button. Yeah, we can make that text more if we want to. There's our default view. So with that it uh, fits quite nicely within the thing. So let's go back to Batman and Batman and Robin again. And we'll let it zoom in. And obviously I can move that over a bit too. Oh look, there's uh, Alfred there too. And click on Set View. So we're inside the Batcave. And the same as with the other thing that we was looking at there, you can change the layout of this. You can have uh, with a background if you want to, or without a background. You can have with a title, without a title, and you can also have a caption if you wish. So I'll not have a caption for the moment. You can change the margin if you want to. Back to interaction again. Show transport controls. We'll have transport controls in there. So we've got three different uh, views on this here. We've got one, two, and three. And you can also show descriptions in sidebar. I don't know how that's going to look actually on screen. I'll leave that off the moment. It just seems to cover the picture up in this one here, doesn't it? So that's how easy it is to put in an interactive picture, image, widget type thing. Let's go on to another page. Choose this widget here. We'll go to layout first of all. So I don't need the caption. You can edit the HTML in this bit here. Oh yes, this bit here you drag a, a dash code in there. So let me go and find a dash code to put in there. OK, there's my dashboard widget. Drop it over onto Yoink. Go back to this here. Drag it from Yoink into this bit here. OK, so we have a dashboard widget in there. Click on Done. And then obviously you can do your same trick as before. Move your dashboard widget to wherever you want it. It's quite simple doing dashboard widgets. What you need to do is you need to start by using dash code, which you can download from the Mac App Store. It's not that difficult to use. I found a tutorial on how to do this. Basically this is just a countdown widget but uh, once you've got it set up you just save it out and uh, drag it and drop it into your iBooks application. Okay so let's have a look and see what it's looking like when we open up the iPad. First thing we have to do is to plug in the iPad. You have to do it with your USB cable. Just plugged him in so what we have to do is we have to make sure that our iBooks is open and I'll go back to the iBooks author application and click on preview to preview your book make sure iBooks is open on your iPad it is let's click on OK and it's preparing the preview it doesn't take too long for this to complete here we go it seems to be opening up it's gone to a blank linen page isn't that lovely Okay, let's click on the preview button again and see if I can make it uh, work this time. Okay, updating the preview document. It seems to be doing its business this time. Okay, we can see that we've got our inside the back cave thing. So I can move through this by clicking on these buttons here. I can click on those ones there too. And if I go back to the main one, I can go to the back car by clicking on that there. Go back to the main one. I can click on Batman and Robin. It shows us Alfred as well. So there you go. That is our interactive widget. And let's go to another page. And there's the other widget that I put in there, which is from Dashcode. 
just seems to be doing an awful lot at the moment. I had it on there before when it worked. Clicked on it this time. And it does work, but you have to tap on it first. The button that was on the front of it before is gone. In fact, it's not working terribly well. I actually needs a bit more uh, tweaking. That's showing you the pinch to get from that page to the chapter view. And I can move through the chapters by moving those across there. Look, this is our slideshow that I put in there in one of the videos previously. So I've tapped on the button there. There we go. This is our slideshow actually running. All I've got to do is tap it and it moves to the next slide. I thought there might be some controls on there as well, but there isn't, so... But that's OK. We don't need controls. All we need to do is to uh, just tap and we've got our slideshow. It's probably possible as well to uh, add audio in there or videos into uh, Keynote and have them show up within the uh, application too. This is the gallery. You can move through the gallery by just swiping across. That's all pretty cool really, isn't it? This is the review question that we put on there. Check answer. Whoops, that's wrong. Check answer. Yes, I got it right this time. Now, if you haven't done so already, go and click on the like button to like this video if you've found it any use at all. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that any time I bring something new out, you'll be the first to hear about it. Bye-bye now. Until next time.